What's going on? It's Tom here again, putting out a three-year-old video building another 1 to 100 scale Gundam. Why this one, you ask? Get McGillis Mc McFreed here. This guy was adopted into the reigning empire of this Gundam universe and hated everyone. Ice in the veins, motherfucker. And he pulls some blue spirit shit helping out the good guys against his own empire. So he can rule it like some symbolic Jesus, which was you know pretty cool and all and evil and shit. But, you know, he, he helps the good guys, so it's okay. But he legit bodies this guy named Gileo and... He grew up together with him and treated him like his brother. It's it's beautiful. It's it's a masterpiece of evil revenge, you know what I'm saying? So prior to this recording of this video, I had mastered my first gunpla and really wanted to start my collection. I really wanted to have the Iron Blooded Orphans to be my first set, if you will, and We'll probably start going into some of the old faves, of course, G Gundam and whatnot. But the main thing I got out of the first time was the rhythm of building the head and then the chest and then the torso and then the limbs. It's you know pretty easy once you get into that flow. So I definitely still see the window of entry low enough for anyone to try. So I hope you see that through here that I've gotten better at it and you enjoy. It's just the laughing part. Yeah, yeah. Leading up to that, just going from Caitlin going big space monster. Yeah. Is that the mom? That is not the mom. Yeah. Okay. There's another one where we laugh pretty good about you saying a botched escape goes awry. <laughs> and then I go, wait, if it's botched, does that mean it goes right? And you go, yeah, it's a double negative. And everyone laughs. I don't know if you want to use that. If everyone laughs, then use it. It's a little it. more energetic than then that. Use it. Okay. I just want to go for the record. I didn't. I, I want to go for the record, I didn't put myself in the cold open. Just take out the all the middle ends and leave the last end. You know, use the last one, last take. Um, you read Old Man Logan? Yeah. I, for I forgot. It takes place in Sacramento. Oh, Now we're going to take our chill mode to the next level. Doggy mode.
Jesus, now that. There is definitely one in the nerd on box though. There's definitely a cable in the box. I the cable already, but is there a base? That's the real question. Uh, I don't know if I saw a base in there. I'll figure it out. Plug it to the computer. Well, we have a yellow one and a red one. I was like, that's pretty dope. That's it? I want to get an orange and gold crystal somewhere in the game. A gold? Yeah, it's like orange. What do you mean somewhere? There's, it's, there's like only two other places you can get it, and it's like random. It's a, it's a pre-made game, right? There's no online aspect to it, right? No. Look it up! Well, no, it's, it's depending on how your file comes about. Excuse me? It's RNG. Wow. Yeah, so there's one in the game somewhere. Somewhere. And number two is even better with RNG. You mean even better? Like there's even more chance. Like every other crystal in the game one is predetermined except for that gold one. Mm -hmm. In two, every crystal is. So will they all rotate based on where they're at? Or based on like what your game is? Uh, some of them will rotate where you're at, some of them won't have it. Won't have it? Yeah, like there's a that fucking blows. Yeah. Um, there's one note I have already. What? Uh, there's a part where like Josh is like messing with something in the background. Do you know the timing? Uh, 13. Okay. 13, 15. Give it two seconds because there's another sound that happens afterwards. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoy videos like this most of the time in the background while I'm working on something because it's pretty chill and I feel like someone is working while I'm working. But I'm typically more chaotic to begin with so this is how I do these. I recommend you all try your own Gumpla and just feel the flow of building something. The tactile feeling at your hands that you're making something that poses and moves is really what good brain juice is made of. So here's the final look of the Grim Gaird Gundam frame, baby!